to save the life of Pelama goes far. Look bravely through the dragon's eye and fly. Boris and I found another clue at Ash Rock. There. Hold it up, will you? That's supposed to help, is it? There are words missing. We must work it out like the crossword. It'll take years. I was pretty sure the first missing word was top, because top is the opposite of bottom. The Vita Road led us to a mountain. It's like a riddle, Boris. You've got to go to the bottom of a mountain before you can get to the top. <laughs> we were about halfway up when some rocks hit Boris on the head. The rocks wasn't a rock at all. It was a Viton. We were worried about Jenny. She'd seemed cold and ill. So Gorwin called her on his video phone. She showed us something Morris had knitted for her. A new scarf. What do you think? What's she trying to tell us? Help. Charm. Charm? Charm. What's charm? Charm is the enemy of Pelamar. I have defeated him once, and now I must face him once again. Here you are. Gorn decided to return to Pelamar alone. He took the two Vitons we had found with him. We had to find the last one on our own. Gorwin! Could we do it in time? Gorwin had a long, long journey ahead of him, back through the woods of Widge, as night fell. Boris had a tent in his rucksack. Yeah, we pitched it and settled down for the night. Boris, you've taken up all the room. All right. Ow! Ooh. Boris, you're lying on my bag. Amanda. Hey, who's got the map? Here it is. We must work out the clue from Ash Rock. Yeah, let's have a look. I wonder how far Gorwin's got. Oh, if he could fly over which he'd be almost home by now. Worrying about Gorwin and Charm won't help. Pelamar will fade and die unless we find the last Viton. That's what I'm trying to do. I think these two bits beginning with B might be the same. <laughs> B something E of a floor that is not there. Hmm. Sounds dangerous. Mm. It could be a warning. <laughs> You're right. Be... Careful? Careful doesn't end in E. Hmm. Be... be... Beware! Yeah! Beware, beware! Two warnings. Well, we know what the first one was, don't we? Beware of rocks that fall from the air. <laughs> it wasn't a rock, it was a Viton. There. But what about the next bit? Beware of a floor that is not there. Then climb on something again. Climb on in. Climb on out. Down. Up. Up. It's got to be up to get to the top of the mountain. Let's look at the map. You can't. Boris is sleeping on it. I'm going to sleep too. Oh. Oh. Night. Oh. Oh. Night. Wow. <laughs>
I'll give you road safe. <laughs> We'll never catch those widgets. They haven't done any harm. Well, you're not inside my head. Sometimes I wonder what is. What? Can we go back to sleep now? Oh. Well, I'm wide awake. I know what I'll do. I'll write some notes for Sleeping Beauty. Hey, wake me up when it's breakfast time, won't you? Yes, Amanda fixed it. Where are you? I'm at the border camp. Listen, Boris. I dare not phone Jenny. Why not? Because Chan must not know I am on my way back. He must not even guess. Oh, right. If Jenny contacts you again, let me know. Yes, yes, of course. And Boris. Yes? If I no longer have the power to defeat Chan. Of course you have. Go in. You have. Have I? Let us hope so. We are all getting weaker. Good luck. Good luck to us all, eh? Go in. We'll beat Charm, won't he? Depends how weak he is without the reticle. He needs it as much as the rest of us. And Charm knows it. Is Charm really that terrible? Oh, yes. One flash of those awful fingers and... So how can Gawain protect himself? Won't Chan turn him into a puddle? Well, he can shield himself with his wing. But while he's doing that, he can't fight back. Gawain will have to take a chance. ready yet? Whenever you like. It's only milk and biscuits. You. I'll find my own. Let's go with him. <laughs> 